Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi guys. This is CM025, chapter 6 and we continue for page 24. Okay, in this video, I will show you how to solve integration of sine power of n a x times cos power of m a x times d x where m and n is less than or equals to 5. So, means that this is the product of two function. Okay, there are two conditions that we can consider in picking which terms we want to choose as u. First one is when n is odd number. Remember that n is the power for sine ax. So, for this case, we will let u as cos ax. Second one is when m is odd number, m here is the power of cos ax. So, we will let u as sine ax. Okay, now let's equation 6a. Find the following integrals. Integration of cos squared x sine x dx. Which one is the power of odd number? Yes, very good. Sine x is the power of 1. So, to solve this, we will let you with cos x. Then, we will differentiate with the respect of x. As usual, we arrange the equation until we get equals to sine x dx. Okay, next, we will substitute back into the equation in u form. Cos squared x is u squared times sine x dx. We substitute with negative du. Integrate u squared, we will get negative u cubed over 3 plus c. And substitute back u with cos. So, negative cos cubed x over 3 plus c. This is your final answer. Now, let's see equation 6b. Integration of sine squared 3x times cos 3x times dx. So, which one is the power of odd number? Yes, cos 3x is the power of odd number here. So, we will choose u as sine 3x. Differentiate it, cos 3x times 3. We arrange back until you see cos 3x like in the equation. Okay, sine squared 3x will become u squared times cos 3x dx is du over 3. 1 over 3 we can bring out. So, just integrate for u squared. We will get u cubed over 3. And don't forget plus c. Substitute back u in the x form. So, your final answer is sine cube 3x over 9 plus c. Okay, I hope you try for question C and D. See you for the next video. Bye.